Hi guys, it's Rick Shields down here at Quest Golf Academy here at Prairie Sports Village. I've got the new Mizuno CLK hybrid to test. This looks unreal. So this is a super sleek looking golf club to match the incredibly sleek looking head cover. Get rid of that. Underneath we see this stealth looking hybrid. And I'm gonna go as far as saying, possibly one of the best looking hybrids I have ever, ever seen. It just looks, it just oozes class. It's the black head, black top, black face, black bottom, black neck. I've got it even in the black grip and black shaft. It's just stunning. So CLK have been around for a while. I, I don't actually know what CLK stands for. I'm gonna presume it's click. This, this adjustability neck is quite substantial. So I've got this in 16 degree loft, but you can go up two degrees, down two degrees, and I can go up right by one degree to make it go more left, or flatter by one degree to make it go a little bit more right. I like that. Uh, I love adjustable hybrids, a big fan of that. They've got this undercut here right behind the face, which is a super deep channel. They've called it wave technology. And that's helping with speed across the face. Man, this looks good. This looks really good. I'm testing it on GC Quad with the Real Pro V1s. Just got the, the Mizuno running bird on top of the golf club. I love this in black. I'll tell you what, if they made that uh, JPX 9, was it 950 in black? Whew. Man, I'd be all over that. This is gorgeous. Right, let's give this a hit. See how it performs. Never mind how it looks. That is a good fly. I faded a little bit to the right, but I can't be disappointed with that golf shot. That's come out lovely. Felt good. It had a good sound to it. It felt solid. That was probably about 230. A 227 carry for 242 total. I see with a 16 degree, I'm probably going to hit it longer than that if I catch it. You can see there, that was, a, that was actually quite a toey strike, funny enough. I didn't feel like it was that far from the toe. That's showing that still actually some decent uh, return off that. Let's go again. Yeah, I'm loving that. I've just missed the green, but oh my goodness, that fly. This feels as good as it looks. And this looks as good as it feels. I tell you what, whatever Mizuno have done over the last couple of years with their, their beautician of the golf clubs, they've done a stellar job. So I honestly think Mizuno golf clubs at the moment are the best looking golf clubs out on the market. They're just doing a great job. And this is no exception. It's a bullet one. I didn't hit that right in the middle. I'm getting a little bit inconsistent ball flights for the three that I've just hit there. High right one, high left one, low straight one. I think that's more strike than anything. They're not that damaging though, actually. They're doing okay considering one slightly le right, one slightly left, one just short. Let's see if I can find the middle. It's a nice shallow head as well. It's not too deep. I'll tell you what, this could tempt me to be a hybrid player, this club. This could turn it for me. And there we go. The big miss. It was potentially coming. It's the only thing I don't like about hybrids, I mentioned it before. I find that there's a potential big miss that can happen, but I must admit, I've hit big misses with irons recently as well, with two irons that I've tested. <laughs> felt good though, if I'm honest. I know I've missed that miles to the right, but that felt as good as the rest of them. Just the face was a little bit open there. You can see through the graphics. Let's go one more. I've got to find this green. I feel like when it hits the green, it's just going to go in. Oh. It's not horrendous again from 250. I am not finding this green, ladies and gentlemen. This is the last shot. I'm going to find the green on this one. It's another very, very healthy hit, but I'm just kind of curving them a little bit left or pushing them a fraction right. They're not too offensive, but not great. I'm not finding the green as well as I'd like to have done. This is the one. This has to find the green.
hang on that right edge. The green just doesn't want to be hit, ladies and gents. I'm apologising about that, but I must admit, as much as I've not actually hit the green, I can't grumble too much with the performance. I'm hitting this at 250, and I'm only just missing the green. I was only 16 yards offline. You know I can't finish on that one. You know I need to finish on one more. Strike locations have been good. I've just been pointing the face in the wrong direction, basically. Simple as it has. Simple as it is. The green is just not there to hit, I'm afraid. Even though I've not managed to hit that actually on the green, I'm a big fan of the golf club. With regards to where it's gone direction-wise, that's just my face pointing the wrong direction. I've actually hit them all lovely. If we pull up the six or seven shots I've just hit there, you can see strike location, all pretty middled. It was just where the face was aiming. I wasn't quite as good as I should have been there. So on average, we see 230 carry, which is maybe five or six yards short just on the 16 degree, so not too bad. The total distance there was averaging at 246. Ball speed across the face was super consistent. Look at those. Just under 150 ball speed off the face. Launch angle was a little bit left and right, a little bit high and low just because where my face was aiming. Spin rates were good again. I, you know, I can't massively grumble even though I didn't hit the green. But hitting the green from 250 is no expected feat. Looks wise, there is nothing that beats the look of that hybrid, in my personal opinion. That is the sleekest, most stealth looking hybrid I have ever, ever seen. I absolutely love it. The matte top, the shiny black. Please, if that driver, the, the JPX 950, came out in this finish, man, oh man. And it's got love adjustability. I'm always a big fan of that. Up and down in loft, line angle change as well probably need to get fine-tuned with getting that perfectly in line guys Mizuno CLK hybrid I'm a big fan of the looks I actually love the performance even though right there I didn't hit it super straight but that was more Indian rather than arrow guys thanks for watching hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did hit that thumbs up button what do you think of the look of this Mizuno hybrid and would you love to see the Mizuno driver in this finish as well I'd love to hear your thoughts down below thanks for watching guys stay tuned lots more to come subscribe to the channel if you're brand new and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Mizuno CLK. And you know I'm going to be stood here for another 10 minutes trying to hit that green. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.